Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my top 15 products from 2015. You've probably seen me use these in a video before or heard me talk about them, and that's because they are my favorite, but I still want to make this video telling you about the hair, makeup, and skincare products that I've been loving all year and will definitely continue to use in 2016. As I'm filming this right now, it is 2015, but when you're watching this, it'll be 2016, so Happy New Year! I wish you all the best in the new year and hope that you accomplish all your goals and have the greatest year yet. Make sure to follow me on all my social media, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and subscribe if you are not already and with that said let's get on with the video first for my hair I have been loving the Aveda smooth infusion cream this is perfect if you have curly or frizzy hair because all you have to do is take just a little bit and then run it through your hair and it just tames down your frizz or softens your curls and it makes them really shiny and reduces them to like small waves and it also makes your hair look really healthy so I just love this because whenever I brush my hair, my hair becomes frizzy or whenever I get out of the shower, it like poofs up and becomes super curly. So I just love to tame my hair really quickly with this and it takes less time than a straightening iron and it also doesn't damage your hair. It actually makes it look even better. So this is just such a good product and I've been loving it all year and we'll definitely repurchase it in the new year. My favorite skincare product this year has been the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment and I just love this because I don't really get acne on my face, I get the occasional pimple. So how this works is I just put it on at night over a really bad pimple and literally in the morning it is either gone or reduced so this is just such a good product. It says that it is oil free, won't over dry skin, has visible results within 4 hours and has salicylic acid acne medication. So this is just such a good product. And and it's also not that expensive, so I definitely recommend you try it out. Moving on to makeup, my first favorite for this year has been the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which I've used in literally every single video. I'm in the shade 20 Sand, and this is just such a good concealer. It covers up my under eye circles, it covers up any blemishes that I have, so I just absolutely love this. It gives a good amount of coverage, it doesn't make me oily, it doesn't break me out. It's also drugstore, so it's not that expensive, and it's really good. So if you ever are looking for a new concealer, I definitely recommend this one. My next makeup favorite is the Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Press Powder, and I'm in the shade Sunny Beige 2. I just love this powder. That's why it's one of my favorites and I've used like four of these throughout the year. I just use this to set my concealer and it doesn't make me look cakey and it also controls any shininess on my face so this is just a really good powder and I will definitely keep on using it. My favorite bronzer this year has been the Smashbox Suntan Matte I think it's called um, bronzer which just looks like this and this is just such a good bronzer. I use it to bronze up around my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose and my jawline and I've used a bunch of bronzers this year, but when I was looking through all of them, this is the one that I really have loved. I use this blush in like every single video. It's just the Bobbi Brown Peony Blush, and this is just really good. I don't know, it just gives me such a nice natural flush on my cheeks whenever I use it. The product is just good itself, like it gives off a really nice pigment, and it doesn't look too fake, and I just really like this, and that's why it's my favorite. My favorite highlight this year has been the Becca Opal Highlight, and I actually broke this right before filming the video, so I'm going to be really careful opening it. So if you can see, it's all crushed up, but this has been my favorite highlight and I definitely have to go and get a new one now because before I was filming this video I was facetiming a friend and she asked me what video I was going to film so I told her that I was doing my 15 favorite products of 2015 and she wanted me to show them all and when I opened this like the product just literally came spilling out I don't know what happened I'm either going to try and fix it with like rubbing alcohol or get a new one but anyways I just really like this highlight it gives a really natural look and it's really nice on my skin tone. I feel that it's not like too glittery or anything and I'm really sad that it broke. My favorite eyeshadow palette this year has been the Naked 2 by Urban Decay palette. I actually did a video showing six eye makeup looks that you can recreate with this palette. I'll have that linked down below but I don't know I just find all the colors in here so pretty and they're really versatile. You can make a bunch of different looks and they're not too crazy like I'm able to work with them they look good with my eye color I just love all the golds and the shimmeriness and I just 
love this palette and it's my favorite. My favorite eyeliner this year has been the NARS Larger Than Life Long Wear Eyeliner in black. And this is just such a good creamy eyeliner that I like to put either on my tight line or my waterline. And it is just so good. It sticks on and it shows up really well. Like it shows up as well as it does in my hands or in the packaging. So I just really definitely recommend this. My favorite brow product that I've been using all year is the Maybelline Brow Satin. So it just has two sides. One is a pencil and then one is kind of like a sponge with powder on it. And I use the powder side to fill in my eyebrows. And this just does such a good job. It really matches the color of my brows. And it does a really natural way of filling them in. And I love how it looks. So I just really definitely recommend this. Ever since I've been using it, I haven't switched to anything else. And I'm so happy with this. It's also drugstore, so that's a plus. If you know me, you know that I have a billion and one mascaras. So this was really hard to choose. But I think my favorite this year has been the Super Sizer CoverGirl Mascara. It's not my favorite at the moment because about two weeks ago I got a different mascara which I mentioned in my winter makeup video. But since I only got that one like two weeks ago, I can't really say it's been my favorite all year. So this has definitely been my favorite. This just makes your lashes so long and it looks so pretty and it looks like you're wearing falsies but you're not. And I just think this is such a good mascara and again, it's a drugstore, so I definitely recommend it. My favorite lip gloss this year has been the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Plumping Lip Gloss. And I know, it's like plumping whoa there. It actually doesn't even do that big of a plumping job. Like, it's a very minimal, but I still like it as a lip gloss. Like, it's just, since it has no color in it, it's just a perfect gloss. And I use this almost every day. I used it in my everyday makeup routine video but I just really like this. My favorite lipstick this year has been the MAC Creme de la Femme lipstick and it just looks like this and I really like this. It's such a like glimmery kind of pink color but like still natural. Whenever I want to go out and just swipe something on that I know will look still glamorous but like a little natural, I always go for this. I just love it. It's so pretty. I don't know if this counts as beauty, but my favorite perfume has been the Daisy by Marc Jacobs Oh So Fresh perfume. One, the packaging, and two, the scent. It smells so good and it's kind of like florally, but it's also feminine and I just absolutely love how this smells. I wear it every single day and if you know me in person, you know I smell like this. I also quite often get compliments on my perfume scent, so just kidding, I just owe it all to this. So if you ever want a new perfume, I definitely recommend trying this one out. You don't even have to get the big bottle, you could just get a sample to just test it out and see how you like it. But I just absolutely love this scent. My last favorite from 2015 is this Essie nail polish in the color Blanc. So it's just a white nail polish, which is my favorite nail polish to have on my nails. And this one is just really great. I love all Essie nail polishes. Some people don't like them, but I personally love them. And yeah, it just has a great color payoff. You don't have to use too many coats. And since I just love white nail polish, this is just a perfect white and it doesn't show up like runny or anything. So yeah, I've just been loving this. Then for a bonus 16 favorite, I have my dog Cooper. He has just been such a good furry friend all year and I definitely recommend him if you ever want to go to a pet store. Just kidding, because he's mine. So that was the video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below requests of more videos you want me to do. And subscribe. Love you all. Bye. <laughs> you can't wait to get away from me. <laughs>